Fighter guard, okay, how escape and pass and what to do when the person play regular spider guard, okay? First I'm gonna explain a bottom uh, some common attacks that you guys uh, start to see uh, when I start to explain on top, okay? When a person plays spider bottom, a regular spider, then most of the time one leg is gonna be extend and the other leg is gonna be bent in this position. Then most of the time the person looking forward to try to break her grip and start to step on her hips to shoot in triangle or break the grip and start to attack como plata or sometimes iron bar like a lot of people like to attack iron bar when they start to bring the arm close and then let it go the grip you start to control the elbow break that grip and start to go and attack the arm bar so it's important to know when a person plays spider you need to be aware about the submissions the entire time okay you, you always need to be aware about the submission especially when the person break your grip the other very common attack is the person break the grip and you start to go to the last guard then it's a little bit more complicated to pass you're gonna see this on thursday okay today you're gonna pass a regular spike the other very common attack especially if you start to step her leg too close to her partner is the person break the grip and they start to play De La Riva and the Spider Guard. This is a very good and strong control because it's easier to the guy create off balance and he start to get underneath. To start to play single leg X or X guard position. Okay, it's the other position you need to be aware. Okay. <clears throat> Some people, people who have more experience, they like to play spider with this grip more on the collar to control the posture in the same control, the same side control the sleeve. Okay, it's, it's not like, it's not much people play like that, but uh, people who like to play spider in high, in high level, uh, you see a lot of, like, some people play like this. It's a little bit more effective, in my opinion, than this. The most of the time, what the person looking for here is to step on the floor and start to bring the guy over to start to get underneath, to have a sense of the legs. Okay? So when you're on top, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain a general view, so the concepts you guys understand first, and then you start to work at some, some paths, okay? So first thing, try to don't be over a partner. Every time her, your legs is bent and you over a partner, it's easy to attack, okay? You always need to make a grip on top of the leg, look on top of the, of the shin, grab the pants and close your elbows, okay? More your partner open your elbows, more control the person gonna have on top of you. So make sure you close your elbows. The other thing, you never moving forward. Every time you're moving forward, what I see the most is this, look. Try to throw the leg like this. Never work, right? You just spend energy, and eventually you end up in some bad position. Make sure you close your elbows, and you always move back. You don't move forward in the spider guard. You, if you're moving forward, look how my leg, if my leg starts to get closed, He's gonna let it go the spider, control my leg, and now he gets his De La Riva. And De La Riva and spider is hard to deal with this position. It's a strong control. So your, your legs always gonna, you always gonna close your elbows. Never leave your hands on the air, okay? So if you leave your hands on the air, it's gonna be easier to hit shooting. Your arm is gonna be always inside. Keep your grip in the pants, close your elbow, and always looking back, always walking back. Everybody knows to escape from the spider, a simple way to escape is try to palm on the hands inside. It's not that easy during the fight, right? Like when the person has a strong grip, if you try to just circle, you get stuck. It's important you guys understand, to circle, you need to be moving. You cannot circle when you are in, like a, in a straight position. Let's say, if I'm freezing here, just post my base and try to circle, I'm gonna have a hard time. But if I move to the side, look, it's a little bit easier. Okay, try to always, when you circle, try to circle your hands as you move. It's not like, it's not this, from here, as you move, you circle. It's important to move side to side, but it's not like something like this, guys. You move it slow, back, it's, it's always back and sideways. So it's always back, look, and sideways. 
The easy way to palming is the side, the side the person has the leg bent. If you guys try to palm, the side the person has the arm, the leg extend, is a little hard. Try to always try to go to the side the person has the leg bent. So let's say you here, the person tries to extend this leg, that's the side you're gonna palm me first. When I palm you and I skate, about one grip, you guys need to be aware to don't let the guy palm me again and step in your biceps again. When I circle, I need to get control about the leg. I need to make some grip, so sometimes I use the open hands, sometimes I grab the pants, okay? If you make a grip, try to close your elbow. The person always gonna try to re-grip. So that's the time you have to start to pass. So the first drill you're gonna do, you guys gonna be moving, the person on bottom is gonna create some reaction like this, move around, you guys gonna be moving, and when you see opportunity, you guys gonna do one. Now pay attention. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna walk more back and I'm gonna extend my arm, look. Look at how I keep the grip in the pants and I'm gonna do this, look. Keep the biceps. Look, like this. When I create this room here, I'm gonna drag the leg this way. Look, I move back, I extend my arm. When his foot is off my biceps, I drag and I start to move back to the hips. Okay? You guys don't need to stabilize the pass right now. I just want you guys to do this drill. You guys gonna do one. Get control, move back. Look how I push his pants, look. I extend my arms, look. I create some room to drag his leg. It's not to the side like this, look. Right? I drag, it, I drag his leg in this room and create, look. Here. So look. Here. And I move back to the leg drag position. Okay? I'm gonna do a few times the way how I want you guys to do the drills. Okay? So you guys try to take a look and then you guys gonna get, get partners and you're gonna warm up doing that. Okay? Try to see how I hide my head, my legs. And I get inside. Look at how I try to control the movement the entire time. Okay, so you're gonna warm up between this, okay? Back and forth, okay, when I say switch, switch bottom top, you're gonna do rounds of uh, one minute and a half, and you're gonna do three rounds of a minute and a half just to warm up, and then you go from there. Okay? Let's go, won't you? Let's get part. Question? Why uh, I don't drag the leg to the floor, right? If I drag the leg to the floor, pay attention. You're a play spider, the person has a sleeve grip. Let's say I escape here, I move back, and if I drag the leg to the floor, she's gonna use the momentum to sit up. And then I never gonna pass. Okay, the person use the momentum to sit up, but scoot back, and I never get there. Okay, that's the reason why when I drag the leg, I drag the leg to my left. Look here. Okay, it's not over my biceps. I move back and I drag here in the row. And I, of course, I'm not gonna drive him here straight. I'm gonna kill his hips. I move his legs to the other side. Look, and I start to follow the hips. Because when his legs face the other side, I can go down and stabilize the leg drag. The other common mistake is letting go the other leg. Look, if I palm him, and as I drag, I let it go, he's gonna palm with this leg, and I'm never gonna get there. The person's gonna create a wall here. When I try to pass, he's push and replace the bottom leg. Then he's stuck again. That's the reason why I cannot let it go the other leg. That makes sense? Don't let it go. If you let it go, the person will pound. When you fear your legs, when you fear the biceps, become a Toriano pass. It's a Toriano pass. That makes sense? It's a Toriano to leg drag pass. To leg drag position. So again. So I be moving, look. I close my elbow. I try to stay with my legs. Okay? Go, go, guys. I don't like. I'm not here. Okay? I'm here. 
that the person on bottom is going to try to bring me over him. I always going to move back. If I help him bring me over, he's going to start to control my legs and I'm going to have a trouble. Okay, or he's going to start to break the grip. Now I'm inside. Now it's so easy to him shooting triangle, omoplata, arm bar, right? I always need to keep my elbows. My partner want to do this. I want to do this. My, my partner want to try to bring me close. I need to move back. It's opposite. If I help him, if I'm moving forward, I help him get control of my legs. Then I'm going to have a trouble. Okay, or I'm going to help him break the grip, and then he's going to start to shoot. Triangle, flat arm bar, okay? So again, I go here, I circle, I move back, I extend my arms, look, I disengage, and look at how the other big mistake, when you get here, people try to do this, look, over power. When the person is flexible, never work, guys. Like, you just want to spend time. You're going to drag here, you're going to try to drag the other side, and then the person is going to find a way to step on your biceps again, then you pull, it's stuck again. Then you stir everything over. Try to don't waste opportunity. When you circle, you move back, and you create this room. And then walk towards the hips. When I start to walk towards the hips, my outside leg goes to the floor. I drag the leg to my lap, and the grip I have in the pants, I go to the collar. And I block the leg a little. And then I have the pass. If he's trying to sit up in here, because my weight's over him, it's really, really hard. So that's the reason why I need to lean forward. And I take a break here. When I start to let it go the grip, to start to push my shoulder, that's when I, when I stabilize. And if somehow, let's say, this happens all the time, somehow, the guy on bottom, this is the other important thing to understand. If the guy on bottom, find a way when I grab the collar to sit up, I need to switch sides. I need to go to the long step on the other side. If I maintain the position, the person escape. If he sit up, if he's find a way. When I get here, get the cup. If he has a good time, right, let's say, he has a good time, I drag. When I start to go down, he sit up, I cannot drive him forward because he has my sleeve. He's not gonna let it go my sleeve. Okay, if I let it go here, that's enough space for him to run away. Okay, if that happens during the fight, I need to keep the corner grip, I step over his leg, and I switch everything. I switch to the long step pass. And then I pass to the other side. Of course, it should be quick, and the pressure should be on the person the entire time. Okay, I want you guys, sometimes it's stabilizing like drag, and sometimes the person's gonna sit up. So you guys pass to the other side. Okay. One person is going to do three minutes and I'm going to tell you guys to switch bottom top. Okay? So I'm here. I go one. I start to move back. I create room. I drag the leg. If it's a stay, I go here. And I leg drag. Okay? So make sure to trap the leg. Lean forward. When you start to push your shoulder, that's when you're going to let it go this grip. To remember guys, always under hook. Don't go to the head control. Under hook. Okay, you're too far to hug the head. Keep on the hips. Okay, try to maintain the hips. The person's gonna push like a crazy. You're gonna maintain, if the person turn, you guys already know how to take the back. We worked the back take last week. So try to maintain the position. If you drag, and the person find a way to, when you go down to sit up, you go to the collar, you step over the leg. When you step over, I hug and pay attention to my head. I'm gonna switch my head. Look. My head is looking facing him. My hips is gonna face the other side and my head's gonna face the other side. I'm gonna do one, I hug, and I don't step. And then I have to pass. Okay? So I'm gonna do this one more time. Move, start to move. It's the actual reaction, the actual reaction. You guys know like you just change so much. If you guys train just one tank during the fight, the person's gonna make a reaction then and what I do now. It's important you guys train like an actual reaction because that's a common reaction. The person always try to sit up, then you need to know what to do. 
Okay? One person, three minutes, 26 switch, switch, bottom turn. One jump. Let's go. Maximum bottom. Try to see the drill. I do like the way how you guys are doing like a long That's the moment, like, you're moving back, you are moving, and you find a way to palm, and then you need to move back to drag the leg. What I see the most, everybody. What I see the most is people, everybody knows you need to palm on the leg, the palm on the leg. You palm, it's in your leg. Then you keep like, keep it. Then you keep doing like this, over palm. And you don't go anywhere, right? So if you over power, try to drag the leg, only if you like, a, 30 pounds over than the guy or much stronger than the person but doesn't have experience, you're gonna pass. If you wanna use technique, you need to move back and then drag. So it's super important to extend your arm. When the foot is off your biceps, then you drag. Oh look, it's off my biceps. Then I drag. Okay, yes. Is there a time you like to do the, this one as opposed to the one where you pop your hips? I pop, I pop my hips, I, I, I like to pop the, the hips when I feel I cannot even move my palm, walking back. Okay. Let's say like I'm in here, and I feel the grip super strong, I cannot move back, then I, I use this option. Okay. When I pinch the knee, and I use my hips, and then I drag the leg. If they're just insanely strong. Yeah. Okay. If I cannot move it back. Okay. But this is always my first option. Okay. You're gonna do one more drills. The way how, it's not much, much about the pass, is more the way how we escape from the spider now. What I want you guys to understand, sometimes, even in the palm, in the first hand, it's almost impossible. Sometimes when a person is super strong in the grips, and super strong legs, you try to palm and nothing happens, right? You try to palm and you start to get frustrated because you cannot even move your hands, and you feel really stuck. What do you guys have to do? Instead of using your upper body, you guys need to use your legs, okay? So the first thing you guys need to uh, figure out was the side the leg is bent. Okay, let's say, I'm here, I try to pounding, and I know that's the leg is bent. That's the leg I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna use my legs to break the grip. I, I have a two ways to do, a cross step, and a same side step. I want you guys to use it both, and see what is better for you. Okay, you guys gonna be moving, but move. You guys gonna try to pounding, nothing happened. The side that the person has the leg bent, is the leg I'm gonna step. I'm gonna put my leg off the floor, and I'm gonna step, behind his knee as I break my grip. The same time I step, I bring my arm up. If you guys see, it's the same thing you guys uh, saw last week, the pin in the leg, but you're not here in the ankle. You're behind the knee, your toes control the legs, and your heel is on the floor. Now I have control about the bottom leg. If I extend my body here, look, if I drag, again, if I start to drag right here, I'm not gonna pass. If I extend my body, look, I drag the leg. So you get here, you extend your body, and you drag. Then you have it. You have the drag, leg drag. Same thing, if you sit up, I sit up, you go to the long step. Step over, make sure you maintain your head inside, don't put your head outside. You hug, and you sit inside. Exactly the same thing, nothing change. Just the approach of the pass now, okay? If, right. You prefer, let's say, I prefer cross step, coach. It's fine. You are moving. You see the chains, you go, look. You break. And then you drag. Of course, to the cross step, you have two options. You can move to the back door again. As I move back, I extend and I drag. And I go to the back door. Or, what I like the most, I'm moving forward, I do one step forward. 
As I bring my elbow up, look. And I push the leg down. I do this, look. And I go to the knee cut position. Okay, it's up to you. You can walk to that drag, or you can cross your knees uh, and do the knee cut position. So make sure you always step in the leg is bent, right? So cross step, try to pin the leg, okay? You have an option to go to the back door. When you go to the back door, you extend your arm. When you drag, look, you cut, and then you go. Look at how I see grip, look. And I go here, okay? If I pass over the leg, when I step forward, my elbow go up, look. Is this motion here, look. And then I cross, and I get under here. If you step same side, boom. I keep the pin, I extend, I drag, and I go down. And then I hide my foot. Don't leave your foot right here, just hide your, your ankle. Okay? I want you guys to play with that now. Person on bottom, be moving. Person on top, try to use the legs to break the grip. And then get the side. Last drill. Okay? Any questions? No? Let's go. One, two. Let's go. Let's do it.